Are you also NAFTA dependent? Oh, yes, very. What's the reaction if Donald Trump decides to walk away from trade negotiations, effectively smashing this global supply system that exists? Well, again, a very difficult thing to predict, a, a presumption that it would be a negative uh, for the economy. Uh, but I think what's uh, maybe the more important, you know, the question is how will trade sort itself out? It very, goes right down to company by company. You reoptimize uh, based on a tariff structure. But I think the more important channel of effect on the economy is already active, and that's the investment channel. So when firms decide to invest, those are things that are like sort of five or 10 year decisions. They're not every, every quarter. And so for the last year, they've been telling us, well, I'm holding off on my investment. You know, I'm, or I'm considering expanding my Alabama plant instead of expanding my Ontario plant. And uh, those kinds of decisions last for a long time. And so we've got a drag on investment that's already in place because of the uncertainty around NAFTA, not about whether NAFTA's actually happened, okay? So we're watching that closely and talking to firms uh, directly to help us understand that. The market's trying to look to history to gauge how you might react in a situation around a negative NAFTA outcome. And in the past, in 2015, the market's <clears> got a <throat> bit of an inkling about what you could do when the oil price crashed. You cut rates twice by 25 basis points. Are interest rates a tool that you could use if the economy softens because NAFTA is pulled? Well, for sure. That, that uh, you know, if, if NAFTA were changed in some way that proved to be negative for the Canadian economy, it's not something that we would do the arithmetic in advance like we could with the oil price shock. With the oil price shock, we knew how low oil prices were, and we could go out and talk to 20 to 30 companies directly and say, what are you going to do? And the answer was, we're cutting our spending, our investment spending, by 40%, 50%, 60%. Do the math on that. This is a sizable shock for the economy, so we're cutting rates to cushion the blow. In the case of NAFTA, it would be much harder to do that. And so what you would do is actually watch it in real time if the economy began to slow as a result, and you know we'd be able to put those pieces together. Uh, then it would go into the mix. The inflation target would be at risk, and we would be cutting rates into that. But a lot of the things can move at the time. You know, you could have the exchange rate could, could adjust significantly. Uh, so that would have to be taken into account. The government may have some other responses. Uh, so fiscal or, or uh, trade policy changes. So all those things make that analysis really hard to do in advance. Hi, I'm Tanya Bryant, and thank you for watching CNBC Conversation. If you want to watch another episode, just click on the videos. And don't forget to subscribe to CNBC Life for the very best in feature programming. Thank you so much for watching.